Welcome back. You are watching Metropole Business Center. My name is Tabitha Muthon and you can get talking to us on our SMS line 2046, Twitter us at Metropole TVKE and Tabitha Muthon G on Twitter. And now, just as technologies and societal or business evolutions are transforming the ways we organize activities such as marketing and customer service, other important business activities are fast impacted as well. This is also the case for cyber security. A smart security approach is an enabler and accelerator of digital transformation and the role of security is evolving and so are the viewpoints, processes, functions, strategies and technological aspects regarding cybersecurity with a clear evolution towards security in the cloud and an increasing use of artificial intelligence and intellectual computing in today's proactive security solutions. Today we discuss security as an accelerator for digital transformation, the essentials in defending your business as a dynamic and strong strategic activity now to help us navigate through this conversation we are joined by mr harry harry who is the chairman and publisher cio east africa karibu sana mr harry thank you thank you for having me here <laughs> okay. is my name funny it's the harry hair in it oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, is it harry or hair harry it, it depends on where you come from. Uh -huh. If you come where from where you come from, what do they call it? If you come from Europe, it will mm. be here. If you come from Africa, it's Harry. It's Harry, Harry. We're in Africa. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go through this conversation, Mr. Harry. Now, how essential is security as a solid digital business approach, or rather, why is security is why security why is now security is an accelerator for digital transformation? So, if if you look if you look at digital transformation as mm -hmm. as a process, because you see, uh, a lot of the time people look at uh, digital transformation as an event, mm -hmm. uh, but digital transformation is a process, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. and looks at your entire breadth of of your business. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. if you're moving your business uh, into the digital realm. Um, and you do not secure it, you're looking for trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're looking for trouble because it's just, just imagine building this beautiful house. Uh, then uh, you don't fit your windows, you don't fit your doors, uh, and you have valuable uh, equipment in your house. What will happen? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, you'll find that you need to secure... Uh, all the technologies, all the assets, all the assets of your business that mm -hmm. you're putting online yeah. um, to make sure that, you know, you have business continuity. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, um, there, there are bad boys out there, bad mm -hmm. boys and bad, bad girls as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. uh, who, will, who will come for you. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it, security is becoming more mm -hmm. and more important yeah. as businesses move uh, mm -hmm. to, into, into the digital realm. Mm -hmm, yeah. True. Now, as our businesses move into the digital realm, as you have put it, uh, let's talk security perimeters and digital transformation and how they are changing. How is this going to force us to look at cybersecurity differently? It's, it's the same thing. So, so mm -hmm. let, me, let, me, let me explain. Yeah. Um, so in the past, what used to happen mm -hmm. is that you have, um, so you, you, you have your, say it's a bank. Right? Mm -hmm. So you have your bank, uh, then uh, you, make sure that you, you, you make sure that nobody penetrates into your, into your, uh, into mm -hmm. your LAN, yeah. for instance, yeah? mm -hmm. a local area network. So nobody can penetrate into your business systems. Mm -hmm. So you've secured your perimeter. So, so nobody can come in, mm -hmm. right? But if you look at reports, uh, that are coming out of, uh, from cybersecurity yeah. uh, research. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows that close to 70, 80% of today's breaches are actually internal. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that perimeter that you used to put, no longer, it, it no longer serves you because mm -hmm. the breaches are internal. It's, it's the theft or the fraud or the, the, you know, whatever you're losing, mm -hmm. you're not losing it from, from external people. Okay, it could be a collaboration mm -hmm. between uh, internal people and external people, but the threat has moved from outside your, your organization mm -hmm. to actually inside your organization. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? So that's where now people need to start thinking differently. Mm -hmm. you, you need to start thinking about security from a trust uh, approach. 
as opposed to creating a perimeter for, for your business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Security is a trust for creating a perimeter for your business. Yeah? Now we have um, innovation accelerators such as Internet of Things, IoT, yeah? which have brought about new security challenges. Let's talk about uh, these challenges or drivers that uh, will necessitate a different security approach. So, so all these technologies, so AI, mm -hmm. uh, IoT. Mm -hmm. So IoT is a boy equipment. Uh, yeah. So you, you, you know the way you have, mm -hmm. you have that soldier downstairs uh, who is looking at who's, who, you know, who's passing in and mm -hmm. what are they are carrying. Now you, you don't have that person. Uh, you have equipment uh, mm -hmm. that is detecting whoever is coming in. So that's, that's Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. uh, so and, and Internet of Things, in fact, nowadays they call it Internet of Everything. Yeah. Because of the connectedness of the different things that you have. Mm -hmm. So with that connectedness, mm -hmm. uh, so your phone is connected to your LAN, mm -hmm. uh, your TV is connected to your LAN, uh, your microwave is connected to your LAN. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of a sudden, you're not just protecting your computer yeah. that is connected to the LAN. Mm -hmm. See, you're protecting everything that is connected to that network mm -hmm. and, and and look at this now from a corporate uh, environment where you have all these little things that are connected to to the corporate land and that corporate land also houses your most valuable asset which is your production system it could be a banking system it could mm -hmm. be a manufacturing <coughs> system mm -hmm. yeah so all of a sudden now there are so many gaps yeah yeah that can get into your uh, into your production system mm -hmm. so with that kind of uh, scenario, mm -hmm. you need to now start thinking differently mm -hmm. uh, around security. So you're not just securing your computers, you're securing your entire environment. Mm -hmm. And so you find that it's no longer uh, you putting firewalls, mm -hmm. is, is actually controlling the access, who is accessing your, uh, your systems, mm -hmm. who's coming into your systems, who has access to... Uh, whatever that database yeah. so so it's it's a complete different way of of securing uh mm -hmm. the corporate environment mm -hmm. yeah great and now we are moving to cloud and what you have explained totally or rather brings us to the aspect of cloud talk to us about security and cloud and also which i understand is going to be the theme for your next uh, summit you can also talk to us about that okay mm -hmm. so so cloud has become big um mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people are now moving a lot of the things that used to be in the server, mm -hmm. uh, the server room into the cloud. Yeah. And, you know, like, uh, this is interesting because two years, three years ago, mm -hmm. when you talked to a bank and tell them to move their, uh, their core banking system into the cloud, they'd be mm -hmm. like, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. uh, but, <laughs> but that is changing. Yeah. Uh, and, and people are starting to trust uh, the cloud because mm -hmm. the security parameters in the cloud yeah. are becoming more powerful uh, the providers of the cloud systems are becoming more proactive in terms of detecting threats, mm -hmm. detecting people who are trying to, uh, to come into your system, mm -hmm. and also are deploying some interesting technologies like AI, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it beats any, anybody's uh, server mm -hmm. uh, system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why is there fear for people not wanting to move to cloud? It's fear what? of unknown. Uh -huh. Don't you fear the unknown? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fear of the unknown. I would fear because if I do not understand what cloud is, yeah. then I'm afraid my data will be stolen, you know, it will be out in the public, then there will be that fear. But if I do not understand what cloud is. But meanwhile, mm -hmm. where is your email? In Gmail. Yeah. <laughs> where is Gmail? In the cloud. Mm -hmm. So you trust Gmail, but you don't trust, trust the cloud. You, mm -hmm. know? you, see, you see that? So mm -hmm. it's, I think it's, it's just a, it's an issue of uh, information asymmetry mm -hmm. uh, in terms of what is the cloud mm -hmm. and and how secure is the cloud or mm -hmm. who has access to my my information mm -hmm. but I think the cloud is probably more secure than your local environment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. given that now the threats have moved uh, from uh, from being outside the organization to internally mm -hmm. uh, in your organization, yeah. I think the cloud is more secure than that. Mm -hmm. So about the event yes. that is coming up, so we mm -hmm. are looking at cloud and security mm -hmm. uh, because we, you know we realize that a lot of our customers, a lot of our uh, followers are now moving into the cloud, mm -hmm. and security is a big thing. Uh, yeah. So 
So we, that's why we put this event to just keep people abreast of uh, the current trends, mm -hmm. what are the threats, uh, what are the technologies that are being deployed for cloud mm -hmm. and, and such things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So besides that, uh, what to expect? Uh, maybe you can take us through your panel so and how people can join in the conversation. So I, have, I have a very yeah. interesting panel. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's, it's more about, about data, but yeah. also da data in the cloud. Mm -hmm. um, and and the, the, title, the, the title of the panel is uh, Data is a New Oil. So mm. what? Wow, data is uh, the new oil. So what? So what? Yeah. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. And the idea is uh, to discuss about mm -hmm. how do you... Data, yes, data is a new oil, uh, but it needs work before it mm -hmm. becomes valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do organizations uh, work on the data that they have mm -hmm. to actually make it valuable for themselves? Mm -hmm. uh, and to, you know, to do that, there's a whole pipeline of activities mm -hmm. that you know, organizations need. Because you see, it's, it's very easy to say data is a new oil. Then, mm. But then, uh, unless you work on the data that you have, if you know where it is. Because mm -hmm. some people don't even know where that data is yeah. or where that data sits in within mm -hmm. the organization. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so first you have to identify what data you have, mm -hmm. then move to, okay, so we have this data, mm -hmm. so let's process it, let's clean it. Mm -hmm. uh, then let's, let's get insights from it. Let's get information out of it. Mm -hmm. Let's get insights into it. Mm -hmm. uh, then, then that when you, you, you can now make decisions mm -hmm. business decisions based, based, on, based that. on that yeah. okay great yeah. so any parting short uh, you know for people how to join in the conversation registration and all that as we wrap up yeah so the registration is on our site so mm -hmm. www.cio.co.ke mm -hmm. uh it's virtual so you don't have to fear about corona mm -hmm. uh so it's it's a virtual event and it's really funky mm -hmm. uh, people need to come and, and there's a lot of there's a lot of new knowledge mm -hmm. that will be will be disseminated. There's a lot of interesting discussions that will be going on. Mm -hmm. Of course, don't miss my discussion because uh, mm -hmm. I think that will be uh, awesome. I have a good panel. Mm -hmm. uh, so and that's from when to that, when? That, that is the Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Yeah, Thursday All and Friday. All days. This week, yeah. This week. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Do not miss it. Uh, security and cloud uh, from CIO, CIO.co.ke. And uh, the drivers necessitating these changes are real and the causes and consequences of digital transformation are also leading to a disruption and transformation of security itself. Thank you very much, Mr. Harry. Most welcome. All right. We take a short commercial break, but keep talking to us at Metropole TVKE, SMS line 20146.